gang, welcome back to the second episode of this series. I'm super happy you guys enjoyed the first one, and all the support really makes my day, so thank you for that. And it's time for my new thing. If you don't know, in my last video, I started opening one pack of Pokemon cards every intro, and today's the second pack, so let's get to it. Let's see if I struggle less with opening the pack this time. I didn't, I actually opened it very nicely. Ooh, this is a cute Psyduck, let's go. What else we got here? Got a little, hey, Tiny Bird, I got Big Bird last time. Oh, this weird Pokemon everyone hates, he's like creepy and does weird, weird, weird psychic, psychic stuff. stuff. Flabibi, this sounds like a French Pokemon, it's very cute. Roganola, ooh, Zygarde. This is shiny and I think Zygarde is a legendary Pokemon as far as I'm aware. Shiftry, I used to have this when I was a kid. It was super cool and crazy and rare. Treasure Energy, Ribbon Badge, and Avalug. There we go. That was a I like that pack because that legendary Pokemon, that's shiny. <laughs> I won't do an episode recap because it's a lot of stuff, so go watch part one if you missed that. But I will say what I have prepared for this episode. I've done a little bit of off-camera preparation, and here's a little recap. Okay, so here's what I did. I mined for a little bit of iron because we're all out. I broke my iron pickaxe while looking for more, actually. Creepers? Still creeping. Went to the cows on the other side of the world. We needed leather for potential enchantments, you know, to make books. I'm still finding tons of nether portals everywhere. Made the enchanting table, which I just got the cow Bam, for. and boop. Bam! While well, getting cactus for a different project, notice the raid was still happening. Oh god, that raid is still going on. Did get my cactus though. Then we mine some gravel. <laughs> Back to the surface. I made this monstrosity. It's supposed to be a cactus farm. <laughs> Back to the mines again. Found diamonds. Lots of them. I didn't want to get them yet because maybe we can get fortune on a pickaxe and then we get you know, more value, you know, you know what I'm saying. Again, my iron broke, so I had to go into an open cave with stone tools to find raw iron. Got super lucky and found lapis though. We need that for enchanting. Oh, I also found out what this thing does. <laughs> okay, I'm taking one diamond for a pickaxe. I'm not enchanting iron. What am I, a nerd? <laughs> Yeah, I am a nerd, actually. Blue Elf and Chants are dookie. Time to make bootcases. Oh, and also, the legendary auto farm is complete, <laughs> thanks to our iron from earlier. Help, a tiny man is chasing me. He drowned. <laughs> I then made this very ugly safe box from where I'd harvest wheat, sugar cane, feed the cows every now and then. They want to go on another adventure. Oh, and these oh two also God. took over my boats. Really close to a supercharged disaster. That was way too close. Making a decent wheat farm and punching the cows for leather. Anyway, let's get into the plans for today. I think for today, our goal should be to build a nice looking base, enchant our gear a little bit, and if we're strong enough and have spare time, save that village from the raid. We need to save our buddies. Also, this is all the stuff I gathered for what we're gonna do today. Got Silk Touch on this, kinda nice. I really wanna get an enchantment on this. Hopefully we get fortune, but we need more bookcases, so I'll be finishing that first. And hopefully by the time I get back to the surface I can breed the cows again and we'll have enough to make the bookcases required for level 30 enchants. <laughs> it looks so good, I wanna mine it! Oh no, I can't, I can't, we must restrict ourselves. What is this? Tough. Guys, I found tough. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Hey, we've hit bedrock level. Well, that trip was not a success. We didn't really get anything. Yeah, give me the XP. More XP, cows. Okay, now we must slay some. Yay, hey, level 30, there we go. You're not a cow. <laughs> this better not be the theme of the episode. Just bad luck. Uh, let me look up how many bookcases it is in total, or bookshelves, because I think it's... No, I don't know. I have no idea. Man, I was gonna say 15, but apparently it's 16. Do we have enough for that? I'm scared uh, above surface, honestly. I'm gonna build this underground. I'm telling you, this is not gonna be a good episode. <laughs> Sleep the rain away. One thing that's really big, and why I showed you that golden axe earlier, is because it has silk touch on it, which means that I can move the bookcases whenever I want. So I'm just gonna make a small room here for now. Obviously, today we're gonna build a real base, so this is really temporary. It doesn't have to look nice at all. I think this is how people would usually place it. I feel like I'm missing two. You know, it doesn't feel right. Well, that's definitely level 30 in Charles, right? Efficiency 4. Should we gamble it on, on the diamond pickaxe? Efficiency 4 is kind of nice. Efficiency 4. No extra enchants. No, <laughs> no fortune. Those diamonds are staying there. That's okay. I'll use this anyway. What if I check the this one? If this gets fortune, I'm doing it. It's also efficiency. Looting. <laughs> okay, so another thing I wanted to craft was concrete powder. Now, I'm not sure how this looks, so I'm gonna check the color and see if it's what I want. I believe you dip this in water and then it becomes a block. I kind of like the color. It might be a Tiny bit, tiny bit dark. I'll compare it to the other potential block I want to use. Now, it kind of sucks to have to use my bone for this, but I'll make some white dye so that I can make lime dye like this? Yeah, which is another thing. Actually, we should try lime concrete powder too then. Ooh, that might be a bit, <laughs> that might be a bit too flashy. 
this efficiency feels amazing. Hey, come back here. Oh yeah, also, you guys, let me know what I should call all these things. I mean, mostly the alleys. Let me know some nicknames. I'm sure you can come up with something cute. Okay, here's our final type of potential block. So here we have everything. I like this a lot personally, which is the lime terracotta. And I think this one looks good too, which is green concrete. I will go to the Mesa and I will mess that biome up getting a <laughs> mess. I can mess it up. I just want to get some terracotta. So I'll see you in a second. Didn't really think of that. The sun is coming down. And also give me some sea pickles. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can find some sheep there. I don't feel like farming terracotta in the dark. I'll be honest. Yeah, the desert might be the place I least want to be. Well, for that reason right there. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that creeper was try <laughs> trying to hop in my boat. I really need to bring a bunny back home from- Wait, bunny! No. We're collecting all the friends still. I want you as a friend. Come on, get in. Stop being a dummy. If we catch this bunny, we're nicknaming it dummy. Come here! <laughs> trying to have a moment with my bunny here. How does one catch a bunny in a boat? It's too quick. Bunny. Stop. What are you showing me? This bunny is like a- it's showing me Alice's- is... No, oh, never mind. Leave my bunny alone. Alright, cool, we got a bunny. It's coming home with us. <laughs> oh, this is nice and quick though. Oh, those creepers poking out on the right, bro. Stop. Definitely remember, next time we go on an expedition, bring a bed. You seriously think I didn't see you, bro? Think this is my first rodeo? I'm a known cowboy around these parts. They call me- <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, I want to try and get a disc. Yo, let's try and get a disc. I'm sidetracked. That was, uh, that was a nice, nice attempt, guys. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, I don't know what kind of base I plan on building, but I feel like that's enough terracotta for now. Before we leave, though, I want to try one more thing. Okay, so I tried to find one of those exposed mineshaft entrances that these places often have, but I couldn't find any. So, instead, right now, we're going to go home and start building on the base. It's gonna be cool. Alright, dummy, let's go home. Home sweet home. It's dark, unfortunately. Hopefully, Nelson has repelled all the creepers around the base. Welcome your new buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna try and sleep. Quick. Oh, you third person sleep? I've never seen this. That's crazy. Let's go. I also see we get this. Maybe eventually we'll try and get all the achievements. That'd be fun. That's the one downside of my farm in the middle of the swamp. Always people want to kill me when I harvest my wheat. Ooh, nice. Level 30 again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and enchant some books now. Maybe we can get fortune or something like that on a book. I'm considering making a second diamond pickaxe. You need two anyway, right? You need one silk touch one and one fortune one usually. So I'm gonna make an- I don't have any diamonds. What am I talking about? <laughs> Another efficiency four. I guess I should save that. We should try and get to that and then, then I can make my pickaxe efficiency five, right? I don't know what the order of things is I'm doing. I'm just doing a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's build the base. Okay, base, base, base. Two stacks of green concrete. Maybe that's enough. And I will make two stacks of green or lime terracotta. I might not have enough white dye for that though. Okay, should be sufficient. Our base will be right there. I think this is how you do it. Place the powder, it makes a block, and then you insta mine it. Half of these are floating into the ocean. Come back. Well, it was decently efficient, but we lost three blocks. Some. We lost no blocks. <laughs> okay, let's start building for real now. I can finally tell you my plan. I want to make a big lily pad is the idea. So we'll see if these colors work well together. I'm not a very good builder, but I think that's the challenge. And it'll be fun to see if I can make good things. You scared me. Don't do that. I love how in third person my character looks like a kid that just got out of bed on Christmas. Guys, I ran out of white dye. I'm not done. Pain and agony. I remember you dropped bone meal. Sometimes. I killed Nemo. <laughs> Series over. Okay, well this strat is not working. I do know, maybe we can make a composter. That also makes bone meal, and I have a ton of seeds that I can just throw in. That's not. You scared me again. Stop doing that, bro. Whew, one bone meal for half a stack of seeds. That's 16 blocks right there. Nice. That's a grand total of 24 blocks. Oh, it's more dice than I thought because it gives two. That's true. Nice. It's almost a stack then. Nice. Nice. Feeling like a true champ out here. One on one. Bam. Bop. Boof. How. And boop. All right. Let's have a look from up there how it looks. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cute. It's a bit small. We'll expand eventually. How does that sound? Or we can make multiple. Wow, that sounds like a better idea even. We make multiple lily pads. Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. But this looks good. So now I'm going to try and make a tube all the way down to the ground in glass and then drain the water. But since I don't have sponge, I'm going to fill everything in and dig it out. Fun, fun times. Oh, also, if you were curious about how great this cactus farm is, <laughs> it's not even that bad. <laughs> Genuinely not even that bad, I feel like. 
One thing I do notice is that this is incredibly ugly. Maybe it'll look better in the end. I know people use a texture pack that's just vanilla, but that changes a couple things. So for example, glass connects. So I might, because this doesn't look that nice. <laughs> Thanks to that trip to the Mesa, I actually got a little bit of iron and it's unironically gotten to the point that, oh my God, this is not very valuable. You can mine 32 blocks with this. I thought I'd flex with some golden tools. This is bad, but I have more gold than iron. So I thought it'd be a good idea. Definitely not two golden shelves as well one stack of items. This is great fun. Hmm. I'm being one with nature. The bee has just gone back into its beehive. I happen to have silk touch. <laughs> I've gathered a bee inside its hive. In the future, we will sell honey. I don't know when yet, but eventually. Anyway, as you can see, I decided to mine a bunch of sand and I have all this glass cooked already. All these are cooking as well at the same time. I'm probably gonna run out of coal at some point and we're definitely gonna have to go mining. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to catch a dolphin. Uh, oh wait, um, wow, we can have a dolphin friend as well. I'm actually collecting all the friends. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, we're gonna have a dolphin in the basement. Yes. Wait, I'm actually speedrunning, gathering all the friends, and I swim so fast around the base because of it. This is such a good accident. I'm so happy. You hear that little guy? Hey. Nope. That's it. You pissed me off. <laughs> I don't know how and how he did it, <laughs> but he like glitched the lead and he's already gone. So I'll try and catch him again. All right, cool. He's in there. It looks a bit budget. <laughs> I had to fill in some with sand, but we're really low on coal. I'll fix it eventually though, I promise. So now we can start on trying to drain the water from inside, except the layer where the dolphin will be, of course. Hey, level 30 again. No luck finding any iron. I'm finding a lot of coal though. We'll take it. You almost did that to me, but not quite. Almost got yeeted off a cliff. This is basically what I was looking for. Just, I wish it was a bit more flat. It's a shame it's a bit more spiky. I'm gonna have to do more dangerous stuff, but I should be okay. Cut to me dying. <laughs> yeah, this is already killing the source block, so supposedly this should be free of water now. Yeah, that's the no sponge tag. Let's get started. First of all, remember, I'm level 30 now, so I can do this. Boom, get another efficiency on the book. Let's see, what else can we get now? Looting three. Uh, is that good? I thought it was fortune for a second, but looting is for the sword. I don't want that yet. Yeah, the squishy noise. These are easier to take away. You know, this might be the absolute ugliest work in progress base, but <laughs> we're doing it for the style at this point. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but you know, I'm just gonna go with my old ways. This looks pretty nasty so far. <laughs> Okay, would you look at this? So, I've managed to clear the water on one side. It totally didn't take like 40 minutes. We got this side remaining to do, but it's gonna be a lot easier now that I have this space. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and kit myself out in some iron and we're gonna try to defend the village somehow. I'm very weak, so I'll see if I can get a couple enchantments, new set of iron armor, enchant a sword, probably make a diamond one, even if I don't have fortune, it's only two diamonds, so it'll be okay. What I'm going to do and what I have done with the previous, I'm not trying to equip it, with the previous pieces of our armor, which is just the boots and they're gold, that's why I benched them early. This will be our legendary first set of armor ever used. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it there. So let's make some new armor. There we go. Okay, so we got projectile protection, and regular protection, regular protection, and projectile protection, which honestly isn't that bad, I think, against a raid. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get loot or we didn't get, what's it called? We didn't get fortune yet. So I'm going to grab two diamonds just for a sword and we will use that for the raid as well. I don't even know if it's going still, you know, maybe they've slaughtered everything in the time I wasn't there. I'm hoping because I'm not in render distance that nothing happened, but we never know. I'm very scared. Oh, look at that fire aspect. It's probably gonna kill me. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that, but you know, it's funny. Okay, we have a fire aspect sword now. Hopefully they don't put the fire back on me. That would suck. I don't know if I'm over prepping, but but honestly, better safe than sorry. I'm making golden apples and I'm bringing these golden carrots. I don't even remember what we found them from. Probably a sunken portal or something. Okay, I've set out. I'm hoping to find some chickens so that I can breed them and eventually make some more arrows because I only have seven, which isn't really, that's not enough, I don't think, to fight a raid off. And <laughs> look at that, another portal. Okay, we got my little chicken hole over here. And of course, I get my cooked food at the same time. He didn't drop a feather. Bro, I'm not sure how many this is each. Four arrows each? Okay, 31 is a lot better already. 
guess there's no chest by this one. I need to be careful. My pickaxe has 84 left. I won't use it anymore. <laughs> hey, champ. What do you got? I thought that was Sponge for a second. I would have rushed to get emeralds. Don't tell me you're the only one. Yes, there's there's two boys still. Okay, that's huge. I'm gonna bring one of them home already. There's there's lots. They just tank the raids by themselves. They don't even need me. Man, I'm dead. <laughs> they literally are looking at me like, <laughs> bro, you think we needed saving? We killed them ourselves. My man. These guys are some good deals too. I definitely need to save them. I need to bring two home. You look smart too, man. That monocle. Well, that's like kind of underwhelming, but also I have the most badass village nearby ever. Look at this dude. It's a pirate, man. Look, man, I know you're looking at me. You want to come home? Okay, sure. Don't ask me twice. Oh, he didn't. He ran. Uh, you want to just hop in? Taking your buddy, bye. <laughs> He jumped in himself. He wanted to come home. I just need two so we can start breeding them. This is great though. This is really good news. Can you believe all this preparation for this villager just to hop in my boat and we go on a cute cruise together? I made golden apples, made a diamond sword. Like, okay guys, I'm gonna sacrifice two diamonds to make a sword out. And in the end, we didn't even need it. They just tanked it. <laughs> This is becoming a mess, too. We're gonna need to find a place to live for my allies. <laughs> my cat, my frog, my bunny, and my, my man, I guess. Yeah. I'm going back for a second one. I don't even care. I'm getting a second villager. I'll never have to worry about that again. That'd be huge. <laughs> Later. Is that a blacksmith? Or a jail? If I go in here, I'm never getting out because I. Oh, yeah, it is a blacksmith. Aww. Oh, that's cute. Look at that little. I'm sorry for ruining your house. There you are. <laughs> look at him looking out of his castle. Yo, come here. Go outside, please. There's no space to put down a boat. I know you want to be a cartographer. I'll I'll let you be, but just not here. You are. He just is juking me. Got him. There we go. I guess let's keep going with that thing then. And once we finish one floor, I will decorate the top and then we'll call it because I've been playing for a while. Why is this spider stinky? Is there like a witch somewhere? <laughs> That's my witch impersonation. <laughs> it's my cry. I need bones to try and grow one of those trees with this thing. Proper burial. You know I have, right? I'm bringing you home because we don't have a turtle boat anymore. And I want a turtle boat. Any skeletons? You're a zombie. I'm not bringing you home. I don't want you home. Okay. They hurt, don't they? <laughs> Maybe fire aspect isn't great. Hey, that is the wait. Do mobs on fire no longer put you put you on fire? Okay, well, lesson learned. <laughs> you think you can get that disc, bro? It's mine. Yes, I got one for real. I got war. They're fighting out here. It's an all-time brawl. Who's gonna win it? I dead zombie. Well, thanks for the last hit, I guess. It looks kind of cute from here too. I like it. Come on. This should be easy, no? No? There we go, perfect angle. He's f sinking, the idiot. He was actually so close. <laughs> it doesn't work the other way around, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm just making craters everywhere on this island. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, we fought all night. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few arrows in me right now. That projectile protection definitely helping on the armor. I want to grow. I understand. There we go. Yeah, that's more like it. That's what I wanted. Great. Yeah, I wonder if this will work. If it works, this can save me a lot of time. But I think these blocks get waterlogged. Yeah, doesn't work. Yep, man's freaking out. And that... Okay, I ruined it. And that should be every single bit of water drained in here. The first floor, that is. And maybe I'll only have one floor for eternity, because this is a pain. But we're done with this. So now we finally have a room, and I'm going to be able to make it look nice. There we go. That's kind of convenient. I can take the lowest block, and if it falls onto mud, it all auto destroys. Okay, very nice. We need to replace the floor now. Too light, in my opinion. I fixed this also, it was bothering me. <laughs> now it's nice and flat. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I was looking for a darker bit of wood and there's a temple right there. Well, that's what we'll do before we drain the rest of the stuff. It's literally, the base is behind me right there. Well, that's something for a future episode. Is that another one? Er what? There's two. That's like an underwater temple. And there's some of those big ugly fishes in there. They have a few bosses in there as well. And the central room is filled with sponge. If you play sponge, it absorbs all the water around it. Oh, no way. Is this a gravel biome? That'd be nice if I ever need a lot more concrete. It is a gravel biome. Look at that. Two temples and a gravel biome in one travel. I'd say that's pretty good value. Tell me that spruce. 
Yes, perfect. Okay, all we need is a few saplings and I'll chop down an entire forest <laughs> and then we're good. I saw a lot of blue flowers out here. All right, I punched down about two and a half stacks of it and I got 34 saplings, so I should be fine just growing it home now. There's also another village here. Even if we had lost all the villagers the other place, we would have had a backup. Here's the coordinates. Oh, I'm going for it. I have no idea what even is in these. I need to be a real patient. For some reason, loot takes forever to generate in these, I guess. A buried treasure map. Oh, look at that. Actually, I understand. It just became a normal map. <laughs> What's the point of that? I wonder if I'm gonna get startled by it knowing I'm passing over it. Do it, you won't. Ah! Do it. Jump scare me, you won't. Look, I'm mining. I'm mining. Do the debuff. Ah! <laughs> Why is it not doing it? Ah! Okay, it startled me still. <laughs> Run! And now I'm debuffed for five minutes. You're slow as f when you try and mine. I understand how it's supposed to be a buried treasure map, and I kind of ruined it though. Like, I, I just clicked it and then it became a normal map. Maybe I have to do something at the cartography table? Dude, I don't know. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Creeper Island over here. Home sweet home. <laughs> oh, yeah, just so you see what this debuff does. Look, I'm trying to pick up my bed. I'm not like cancelling or anything, this is actually how fast I mine now. You don't even get to see the first pixel start to get dug. Anyway, uh, so I get this bed some other day. <laughs> even even filling your bucket animation takes forever, you see that? Ooh. You just go to a cow. Oof. It's gone. Nice. Okay, it definitely feels like my interior designing can use some progress. Also, I've only done one half. I love the style of these two doors just standing there though. Very exotic. The more I'm doing this, the more I think what would look nice is something around the edge that would accentuate everything. I don't know what block though. Hey, if you got building advice, <laughs> let me know. My floor looks like an unironic shipwreck, literally. Wonderful. Well, looks like one of our floors is finally done. There's barely any contrast between these as well. Maybe this spruce needs to be spruced up. Hilarious. The thing is, I'm learning, right? So maybe in due time, it'll look nice. Let's move some stuff down to our first layer here. What? You're a different dude. Hey, Podzel. No! Stop! What the- Is he gonna turn him? I don't wanna risk it. <laughs> he was just boating with my villager, bro. Get out of there. What? What's happening around here? What the f*** am I hearing? Oh. You? You! What are you trying to attack me through my wall, bro? I know what you do now. Thanks for the bone meal. <laughs> that feel when these villagers were safer in their real home than out here with me. It's okay, we found- we- jeez. We found an extra village, so I promise I won't let it happen to you. Something we can do now, though. Can this boat break? Thank you. Nelson! Nelson, come here. How do I make sure Nelson follows me? I forgot how- there you go. I was gonna say, I forgot how much of a struggle it was to deal with this cat. Shut up, bro. I'm playing with my cat. Here you go. We've made it, buddy. There you go. Because I don't want him to teleport around and die without me knowing. Ah, Nelson finally has a home. All it took was a million trips. Actually, I should bring my little flying guys, too. <laughs> this is a great idea. One of them got in the boat with the future. Chop, chop, in you go. Hey, come here. My my friends and animals do refuse to listen. To be fair... When they do, they get eaten by zombies, because they're stuck in a boat. That's my bad. Look. Hey! Ale, look at that- Oh, wow, you're so good! Hey, buddy! <laughs> you got a friend in me. I know, bud. I know. Welcome home. Uh, and I'm gonna tie you up like an animal, I'm sorry. Boop! There you go! Look, you can hang out with Nelson. You're both chilling. I'm just more worried that you're gonna get out of here, do crazy stuff. What do you want? Are you new? You're the same dude. Leave me alone. That's a nice night. A safe night. Where I don't have to worry waking up to a creeper blowing me up. Jeez, this thing is also just burning through <laughs> how much uses I have. I have 10 left. I couldn't even move this whole setup if I wanted to. Oh, do you see that? I'm gonna act like I don't know you're there, bro. Well, oh, you're very sneaky and not a scout. He's like, alright guys, mission success, I didn't get caught. No, he wants us to start another raid. I'm not doing that. I'm finishing this base moving and then we're calling it for today. Can you come down here by yourself? Or do you need me to throw down one of these? Yoink. Your buddy got it, never mind. Thanks, man. <laughs> for a second, I thought that despawned as I got here. No! No, buddy. What is this gang of three skeleton archers with enchanted bows? Just literally two bros chilling in a hot tub, but three, a couple feet apart. Look at them! Get out of the water! I turned around and shielded. I actually had the reaction, but my character was hungry and started eating on his steak. You're fat! Shield next time! But we lived, so that's something. 
No, oh, well, didn't even have to bone meal. So this is what I wanted. Some podzel. That's why I was adding dirt around it. It's like I look like a kid rugged towards the Christmas tree. Look at it now. There is a Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, I finished by adding this little thing. Look at how cute it is. A little, little sit down right here. Perfect. One day, you'll be able to sit on stairs on Minecraft. I'm sure there's a mod for it. Anyway, this is how I think we're going to end this episode. We've done a lot of stuff, but it's like we haven't moved as much as the first one. I hope you can see in the video that I have done a whole lot. Also, we've discovered a temple over there that we can definitely go explore eventually, but this is how the top of the pad is gonna look for now. I think it looks pretty nice. There's definitely a lot more detail that can be added eventually. Please don't go outside. I feel like he's gonna come outside if I open this. I'm, I'm gonna go in, man. I'm doing the outro. So this is the result outside. We made a little lily pad path back to where the farm, etc., is and all that stuff over there. It's gonna be cleaned up eventually. I think this looks pretty cute, you know? It looks nice. I tried to make the roots go deeper down underwater as well, just for a little bit more realism. I'm definitely gonna do a bunch of off-camera mining because it is annoying to be out of resources and have to do random trips all the time. Here is our base itself, the inside. I added these, I think aesthetically they look kind of pleasing. I don't mind it at all. This wing isn't used yet. It was definitely gonna be used, maybe enchanting setup somewhere here. This is our crafting and storage stuff for now. It's just it's just to look nice. I, I do plan on trying crazy stuff like building an auto sorter and things like that. I've never messed with redstone, but it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm definitely gonna try that eventually. One last thing I really feel like doing, and I think I will be doing off camera, or at least I'll record when I get something, but I wanna do some fishing. <laughs> I'm gonna try some fishing. Maybe we can get a name tag, or I don't know if there's anything else that's nice you can get from fishing. <laughs> All right, that's everything thing for today. I don't know how to outro this because there is no real point. I guess we finished our house and it looks nice. So that was kind of my goal. Thank you very much for watching today's Minecraft episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. We can make this series last a million episodes already and I'm super excited for it. Remember to comment what you want me to call these little boys behind me. So I guess I'll choose the most upvoted and that is finally everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.